right. Good evening, you guys. Happy Sweet Sunday. How's everybody today? Oh my goodness, the day has gone so, so fast, you guys. So fast. My whole weekend is a blur, to be honest with you. Has anybody else did anything fun this weekend? I know I'm hopping on here random. I just never know what my weekend is going to entail. So uh, it's just easier if I don't even set a time for things because, you know, shit hits a fan. So you just roll with it. Okay, so, all right, you guys. Well, let's see, where do I start? Yesterday, I was at a funeral uh, most of the day uh, celebrating good friend's dad. So that was kind of hard, but yet it was good to all be together at the same time. And so, uh, let's see. And so now today I've been running kids. You guys, I thought Sundays were supposed to be like no events. Like I have ran acts like, oh my gosh, in circles. So anyway, I, and then in between I was trying to, um, clean my, uh, my bathroom because I have drawers full of stuff and it's driving me nuts. So that's what I've been up to. Kylie, what's up girl? How are you tonight? Very good. Very good. Did you get your water heater solved? You had a little water heater issue over the weekend. So I hope you got that squared away. Girl, that's never fun. Any housework like that is never fun. Um, so you guys heads up. Uh, we have an issue. It's a very bad issue. Um, that I am just like sick over and I, I don't have a solution yet. So just stay tuned. But our Instagram has disappeared. Okay. So our A-list account. So if you, hi, Megan. Hi. So if I seen down in the dumps, I'm down in the dumps because I don't know what we're going to do about that. Um, so I'm trying to like hold it together, but it is like so upsetting because it's taken us so long to grow that at the same time. We've never paid for any advertising on that or anything on Instagram. And so, um, so that is like hard earned followers that we had on there. So I don't know. I'm, I saw, I'm just like down in the dumps to be honest with you. So I'm going to try to um, put on a happy face for y'all today. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, fix it on the sink. Oh my gosh. Kylie, what, isn't that the worst too? And then on a nice weekend, like I know I had a million things I should be doing outside today too. Uh, does anybody replant their mums? This is a random question, but like I got some mums from Sam's, you know, in pots and whatnot. And I really need to plant them before they freeze freeze. But I don't know. Does, do they really come back up? Like my luck, they won't. And I'll go through all the work of planning all this stuff and it won't work. So let me know your thoughts on that. Does it really come back? I'd love to know. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, Kylie, good. I'm so glad about the teeth. Yes, Mel, I checked on her yesterday because I was like, how'd the teeth go? She had her wisdom teeth out. So, um, so I'm glad to hear that, Kylie. Yay, so glad things are well there for sure. Um, okay, so let's see. So I have, I did just throw on a little bit of makeup before I got on here because I looked ratchet, you guys. So I had to throw on a little something. My hair, you guys, <laughs> from being gone, we got home late Friday night and then Saturday with that funeral. And then today I've been, yeah, running kids here and there. I tried to pick my house up just a little bit. Atlee had friends over last night. The house was like atrocious. I'm like, can somebody else, like, what are you doing here? You're inviting people over and our house looks like a, um, anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Kids don't worry about that stuff, right? Just moms. Anyway, all is well. There's worse things. Okay. So anyway, I have, let's see, I'm going to just do a fast little show you how I did my makeup because it literally took like two minutes. Uh, and then I have some fun. We have not had these posted before. So I have some fun little jackets to show you, uh, a few little gift items I'm going to buzz through and what else for today? Uh, yeah. And a few other just casual little tops you could totally put with these pants that I'm going to show you here in just a second. This is my Sunday attire. Uh, honestly, if I'm not working on a weekend, my whole weekend attire, if I don't have to be dressed up for anything. Okay. So, uh, these pants are fast. Fabulous. So you have to have them. Okay. And so I have them up right now. So you guys can go ahead and shop those. Uh, what else was I going to say? Rats, there was something else. Oh, tomorrow. If, so I don't forget this at the end. We, of course, usually always do our Monday lives on Monday nights, obviously. Um, but tomorrow night is Halloween. So a lot of you are probably going to be chasing children and all the crazy that goes or answering your ding dong. Okay. So one way or the other. So we're going to move the live to Tuesday night at eight, uh, six o'clock and it's going to be, um, some final few items. So a bunch of markdowns. You guys want to hang out with us Tuesday night for sure. So it's not our usual day, but go ahead and set your alarm clock for that at six o'clock on Tuesday. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so let's just, I'm gonna just do these pants because I have them up. And yes, this is in my bathroom, okay? <laughs> it's always weird doing this for you guys, but it works, we make it work. Okay, so these are our Fashion Hunter. Mel named them, of course she did, because they're absolutely so, that name is like so perfect. 
You guys, uh, I own these and I had I wore them over the when I was gone with Lee to market and he even commented on them. He's like, those are super cute because they're like yoga pants, but they have a little bit more style to them and they're just super darn cute. All right, so they're kind of a fun little camo print. They're kind of, uh, there's a taupey, kind of like a chocolatey brown in there, like a taupey brown, a light blue, kind of a gray blue, honestly. And then uh, kind of a, I don't know, like like a mocha-y, like a light brown. Uh, so I don't know, they're just fun. I think you could throw a lot of things back to them, even though they are kind of a patterned uh, camo, there's a million colors you could pull out of here to make work. So uh, these are small through large. I do my size small. Now you guys, they are jogger, as you can see at the bottom, but they are a tight jogger, okay? So they're more like a legging jogger if that's a thing. Uh, and so these fit, my small fits perfect. They come to large, so you wanna stay true to size. If you don't like things super tight though, I would size up on these because they're definitely more of a fitted look, okay? So you could t totally size up and make them looser. Absolutely. So small through large on those. Okay, perfect. Megan, what are you up to this weekend, girlfriend? And Mel, I'm so excited for your um, Northwest, well, Northwest boys, because you teach there, but also your son at senior high. Um, and so hopefully you guys will, that'll be, it's fun regardless, right? But I hope you all, I just found that out. Was that yesterday? Somebody told me about you guys doing really good. So I'm excited for all of you. That's so exciting. So exciting. Hope for wins all the way around. Okay, this is a fun, I don't know if we haven't showed this. The pictures weren't up of it. So I don't know. I don't honestly know if we've showed you this before. I know I sold one to Miss Mary though, when she was in store, uh, because this thing is heavenly good. So this is how this works. I'm in the chocolate color. I'm going to show you one other color. It's like a cognac-y color here in a second. But this one in particular matches back to these pants just perfect. Okay, so if you want a, a whole setup, you've got ready to roll out, everything matches, grab this one. It matches this perfect. Okay, here is how this works. You're relaxing. Megan, that, I already know what that is. How's that going? That sounds delightful. That sounds delightful. What do you, anybody have something exciting for supper? We're grilling. I marinated some steaks uh, this morning, just with some stuff that was in my fridge. So if it's good, I'll post it on the group. Uh, yes, we're just grilling because it's a nice day to do that for sure. Kind of a, we're gonna soak up. I look the next three days, you guys are nice and then falls here, like cold falls. So we gotta enjoy these next few days. Okay, back to this fabulous little yoga zip up. Okay, so it is a zip up, which is so great. Uh, little collar and it is definitely that chocolate brown. It is a dry fit material, but it's not. I don't know how to explain it, you guys. It's made out of, it says 75% polyester, 15% rayon and 10% spandex. So it is super stretchy gals, but uh, it's super soft. Like it's not like a dry fit material that's like not very soft. Like this is like buttery soft. I don't know how to explain it. Mary Gaffar, are you on here with me? Help me out. She owns this. It's so good. Like you could live in it all the time. It has the thumb holes, which so many of you love. So I'm in the size small, true to size, true to size, small through large on this one. Uh, and it pairs back great to the school of girl hugger. I'm going to show you here in just a second. So if you would prefer a cognac -y color, Here's the other option. And this kind of shows you the back a little bit better. I like how it is kind of fitted. Has that fun little fitted look. Uh, yeah, and so this is uh, small through large in this color as well. And it exactly is the same as what I've got on, just in a different color palette, okay? I don't feel like this matches as well. If I wanted an outfit that matched that you wanted to grab, I would definitely grab the chocolate brown. Uh, this one's just a little bit too, uh, too rusty for these pants, I would say, but this pair is great. Uh, but this is so cute with lots of graphics. Um, you can throw it back to just black leggings or cute with denim as well, if you just need a little um, light jacket. It's not lined, it's just kind of that nice little smooth material here too, okay? All right, then let's talk about these girl huggers. Um, yes, Mel, that's so, you know what? That makes it even better though, when it's, uh, you know, when it is kind of close close call, I guess you could say, because that makes it more exciting. So, and way more good to be the winners on the edge. <laughs> okay, girl hugger in the house. Okay, so you guys know, we pair these with everything. Okay, so these are our little, and you know, you guys, see, this is the thing. If you don't want to show your tummy, all you got to do is zip this up a little bit. Nobody has to know it's short. Okay, uh, so that's how I would probably wear this. It's a high neckline. It is racer back in the back and it is ribbed. So as you can see here, it does have this fun little ribbing. I'm in the large slash extra large, but I can do a small slash medium as well. It's just whichever 
um, the, the girls grab me, that's what I throw on. So that is, I can do either size, the large slash extra large is just a little longer. Um, but Girl Hugger comes in a ton of colors. I restocked it in every color that was the, available. So if you want any other color options, you're gonna love these. Uh, all you gotta do is search Girl Hugger and you can find those um, in our app or the website, okay, alistboutique.com. Uh, so, but yes, you guys, don't be afraid of these because even if you had flannels or you had a button up, use it as a basic under there and nobody knows it's short, okay? All right, that's my little tidbit of the day. Okay, all right, perfect. So then let's do this. I'm gonna throw on a couple other options of little tops that you could put with these pants if you didn't wanna do the little zip up. Uh, just so you can kind of see what else you could do with this. And, okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna have to take my hat off for my crazy hair. Ah! Okay. You guys, how long, this is so funny, how long do you guys keep stuff in your makeup cabinets like that's old? Like, like face stuff, like face wash, face lotion, like all this stuff. I'm curious because I have stuff in this bathroom that I'm like, Amanda, no wonder you have no room for anything. What are you keeping all this for? <laughs> How many other people do that? And then you're like going through your stuff and like, good Lord, this is from like 2018. Get out of here. Okay, so this is a fun little pullover. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, you, you guys. We haven't showed you this in a while, I don't think. Uh, so this is, I wish you could see it in real life because it's kind of got that vintagey wash to it, but it also has kind of some fun little light bleach spots. Okay, so there it is from the back. It does have a hoodie. And it does have fun little rips to just make it fun and kind of ripped up, uh, but nothing too crazy. So it's just like a little bit of fun, no big holes at all, the fun little kangaroo pocket, just your typical little hoodie style, okay? And this pairs perfectly with these leggings. If you wanted to rock this together, you absolutely could. I'm in the size small and it comes to large, but I would say it is kind of that relaxed, um, fit. It's not terribly oversized though. So if you kind of like, like I would want it this fit. So I would say true to size on this one. Uh, an extra large gal, you could probably pull off the large, uh, but just know it's not like super oversized like some of the stuff that we've gotten in this fall. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yes, Mel, I know. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to go through and look at dates too because I'm like, oh. And then I, I do have a friend that I usually give stuff like that to because she can't afford stuff like that. So she always appreciates it, but it's like, God, like I hope it's all right. And then you hate you hate wasting it too because like you paid good money for the stuff, right? <laughs> I know, the struggle is real, right? Oh my goodness, seriously. Yeah, but I was like literally like I have no room for anything. I gotta do something about this. Okay, next up, hold on ladies. Okay, this is the last one I have to change to. So that'll help, okay. And my awful hair, if you guys, it's so bad. I have to wash it when I get done here. Okay, so this whole thing is so cute. All right, it is, this is working for the weekend. Love that. Okay, so fun little hoodie, and this is a short sleeve. So you could totally use this as a layering piece with a cute little flannel over it, or um, cardigan too you could do, or of course a jean jacket would be really cute with this, with the hood pulled out. Uh, but it is kind of that fun little vintage vibe as well. With It's kind of like, Looks like it's been folded up with bleach in between the seams and you just kind of get this fun little pattern to it. So nothing crazy again. There's no holes, no rips, no anything in this one. It does have that little hood on the back. Uh, and it's just, you could pair it with like just about anything. It'd be cute with denim too. Um, some combat boots, some of those thick chunky little boots we've got coming for fall. Uh, all that stuff would be really cute with this if you wanted to dress it up a little bit more. But it's super cute paired back to the just leggings. So small through large on this guy. And I would say true to size on this one. If anything, if you want this a little bit longer and like more oversized, you could size up. But otherwise it's very true to size on this one, okay? Very true size. Yeah, I dig it. You could do like so much with it. Like it's kind of got a fun little bronzy, like the, it's kind of got a little bronze pull to it in the bleach part. So it's super fine. All right. Okay. So then let's talk about hats because you guys know my jam with hats. Like I literally live in hats. If I, again, do not have to be cute. I have a hat on because it makes life easier. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about this. So these are super cute. We had these made for the store. 
So I'm gonna do these first. So this is the black that I have on. It's kind of a faded, uh, again, kind of that vintage-y look to it. Super easy to pose, just anything. And then it just has a little toggle on the back so you can totally adjust it. So A-list right there. And then it does have alistboutique.com on the back, okay? So kind of, it's better than just plain, right? So we have these two colors. So I've got black and I have pink of these hats. I like, they fit really good. They're not hot. Uh, they're not super tight either. And they are adjustable again. So that's good as well. All righty. Then let's do our, okay, this is my favorite one. You guys know I wear this all the time. And I was like, I need to wear something different today than my usual. So this is my go-to all the time. I wear this hat all the time because I don't know, it just, you see it on lots of influencers and stuff as well. And it's just, again, super comfortable too. This is just an adjustable toggle here on the back. Uh, it just matches everything with it being black and white. So I grab it a lot. It just fits good. So there's that one if you need another hat option. All right. And then, okay, so let's see, what do we got next? Uh, so you guys, last time when I did my makeup, I did, I did not think we had any of these left and we have just a couple. So when you are doing, I'll go over this. I kind of went out of order, but you put your foundation on and you're going to contour here at the bottom. I always show you guys, you put your blush on and contour right below. So this is the brush that you want to blend all of that in so that you don't have a stark line where you're doing your blush and you're doing your contour. Okay. So you want a flat brush like this to just go in there and just blend that so that it, it is all, you don't have any stark lines, okay? So there's just a couple of those left. I did not realize that, um, yeah, that we had a couple left. So grab those, all right? They're good. And I have searched, they're a really soft to feel, which is nice. Um, Yes, Mel, I am. I dug super hard in Dallas, like super, super hard. Uh, and yes, I'm really happy with some of the fun gift things we've never had before. I found some fun new products, which I'm super excited about, and fun clothing items as well. Yes, absolutely. Yes, I was very, very happy with it. But it was like, everything's so much harder with the prices being so high on stuff. So it is like a needle in a haystack finding stuff that is affordable. So it just took a long time, but it was worth it for sure. And it was good. And I did get some really good stuff. So, and it's already started to ship. So that's even more exciting. Okay, let's do, uh, all right, you guys. I did not, it wasn't in this thing. I think we have one exfoliating mitt left, but you guys, we restocked our tanner, all right? So some of you have been waiting patiently for this. This is super exciting. Okay, so you're gonna take the exfoliating mitt that I have up. I did not, it's not in my bag here, so just play along. There's an exfoliating mitt, you do that first because you wanna get all the dead junk off, all the nasty dry skin particles, you got that'll kind of make your tan look uneven. So you wanna get rid of that, okay? So use an exfoliating mitt. I think we have one left, so I have that one up for you. You do that first while you're in the shower, okay? So that's step number one. Come out and you're gonna kind of dry off and you're gonna put some lotion on. I always lotion first, all right? You can use any kind. You guys, um, well, here's my kind I use. Uh, this is at Sam's Club. So they have this particular kind or they have one that's in like a cream container. And I like that one actually way better, but I'm trying to use these up. This thing doesn't work very good because it doesn't go to the bottom. And anyway, I just like the cream uh, and it's it's not vitamin C. So I don't know if that makes a difference, but okay. So, oh yes, Mel, it's going to be coming, girl. It's going to be a coming. Wait till all this jewelry starts coming too because we should have a huge order of jewelry coming, which I'm dying for because it's so cute. Um, so yeah, so girl, be ready. Be ready. Okay, so then you're going to take, once you do that, lotion your body up, okay? You're going to want to kind of focus on a lot of lotion on your elbows and on your knees, all right, because that's super dry. And so that stuff is where this will kind of, uh, if you haven't exfoliated it well and it's not moisturized, it'll kind of catch there. Okay, so you just want to put a little extra moisturizer there if you can. Okay, so next up, you're gonna take your applicator, all right, which is right here. And we restocked these two, so grab one of these. Uh, somebody said you can wash these. Uh, I don't know, I suppose you could, but just I wouldn't wash it with anything else because otherwise you'll have tan everything in your washing machine, I'm assuming. <laughs> okay, uh, all right, so I would just get a new one and start over, that's what I would do. Okay, so here is this guy. So all you do is take a squirt of this. And I took mine to the store, dug on it, mine, because uh, yeah, we needed a little demo. So I left mine there. So I can't squirt this out to show you guys, but it is a beautiful, beautiful bronzy uh, tan. It is not orangey. Okay, so many of you love it for that reason, but it does have a beautiful like glisten to it. Like you've just been sun kissed. That's my favorite part about this. 
All right, and this lasts a, quite a while. It's a pretty big tube. It's uh, 150 milliliters and you're gonna do, and it's foam, okay? So it comes out as a foam. So you're gonna squirt it on here. And when you put it on, you go um, kind of in a circular motion. So you're gonna rub kind of circular, but you want to avoid the, your first pass. You want to avoid those extremities that I was talking about, okay? Um, yes, Mel, that's a great idea. That's a great, we could put those little teenagers to work. Absolutely. Yes, I like where you're going with that. <laughs> Remind me to do that. Uh, so you just wanna avoid those because again, you're, it could sit there. So do your, do your extremity, all right? Then once you've kind of got most of your stuff off of this applicator, you're gonna come back in and then you're gonna kind of do those spots that catch. Okay, so you're gonna do your elbow, you're gonna come down here, do your hand, do the back of your hand, do um, your armpits, okay? So then after you've done that, we're out of kabuki brushes, but if you have one at home, or just take a, I have these that we used to have too. You could even take this and you go in and just, I like to go one more pass and in those dry spots, I just take a little brush like this and rub it in so it doesn't sit and um, kind of look pretty obvious there. So as long as you blend it in, you're gonna be good. So I do that whole process to all my extremities. So same with my legs. So I'll go through and I'll just do the whole leg uh, with that little mitt full, okay? And then I'll come back in and I'll go over the knee, I'll go over the ankles where it gets dry, and then I'll do my foot. Okay, um, so that most of the goo is off of here on your main extremity swipe, and they're gonna come back in and cover up those, uh, like your knee and all those other places that are drier. And then if you can, or have something like this, just come back in and just rub it in so that it all blends perfectly. That's really all there is to it, you guys. People are scared of this, don't be scared of it, okay? Because um, legit, it is not, once you try it, and I would always, if it's your first time, do it kind of lighter, okay? You don't wanna do it super heavy, Heavy if you do kind of mess up. But if you drew it light enough, that will get you the feel for it. And then you can always do a second coat and it'll be a lot darker, okay? So I do mine once a week, all right? Once a week on your, and that'll keep your color looking so good. And you kind of don't go through the um, flaking off either or the like peeling at all if you just stay to it once a week. That's my goal always, okay? So then let's go to, so the tanning mousse is up then. So here this is. So you guys, you guys know how good this is. Uh, I had no idea we were out. I thought we had a couple left. So I apologize to those who needed it because finally got it for you. So grab it while it's hot. Um, and you can come in store and play with it if you wanna see it in real life and uh, put it on because it makes a huge difference. It really does. Okay, next up, let's do, uh, these were, the girls had my bag, so I'm just gonna flash these. Uh, I'm not doing an eye look today, cause I didn't even do, I just put on my candlelight, called it good. Uh, but this is a great little brush set. If you need one, a tween in the house needs one. It has kind of all the things you need. Uh, I especially love the ones for the eyes. I'm really picky about how I do my eye makeup and I have to have the right brushes. And these were good ones. They have like the right angle. So. Grab those if you need a good gift too. That's a great little teen gift, uh, stocking stuffer, all that good jazz. Okay, another thing I'm just gonna flash you is these little sponges. Um, oh, that's what I need to write down. That did not have a photo either. I have a list going here. Okay, uh, and these are, so get this wet, okay? Get it wet in your sink, all right? Squeeze it out and it's gonna be damp and that's how you want to apply your foundation. All right, uh, I know Emily uses her foundation this way. I sometimes do, I if I'm, seem like I'm always in a hurry and I don't take the time, but I probably should. Uh, and so all you got in, it's in this little holder is kind of nice because that'll help it dry out. So you don't have to stick it back in your makeup bag and get nasty. So just leave it out in this little container for it to air dry. Uh, but it's supposed to make your foundation go on way smoother and kind of look airbrushed. And when you put it on, you just kind of dot it. You just kind of dab it, okay, like don't like, drag it across your face, you're just gonna kind of blot, okay? So that is the act. All right, and then hair ties. Okay, so here these babies are. Uh, so this is what I have in right back here, this Hot Mess Express right here. So when I am doing a hat, that is what I have that you guys know I have 50 million of these and I'm down to like maybe 20. So where they go, I don't know. Uh, so you might need an extra pair. Again, great little stocking stuffers uh, for those kiddos who lose things too. These are the nylon uh, hair ties that you, your hair lady has probably recommended you use if you do ponytails, okay? Uh, because this is what my gal recommends we all use and they don't get like the coily ones, your hair gets kind of wrapped around them and you can be really hard on your hair. So these are much better for your hair and don't pull 
pull as much, okay? So I just literally, this is how I did mine. And it is so bad, you guys. I literally have something in it too. Like it's all nasty. I don't even know. I need to wash it so bad. Okay, so here it is. So I just had it long and I literally just grab, can you see this? I grab and just make a pony. I like pull it through there and I whip it right back around and pull it over and voila. And then I have just an easy little doodad. Okay, right below my hat. Or you can stick it through your little hat hole. I don't know. I just always do that and just make it work. Okay, so pretty easy. Um, I don't even do the brush thing. It always looks good. Easy peasy. Oh, good, Mel. That is good to know. Good. And I see, I think like the more you do it, the easier it gets for you. And you probably don't have to do that. So if somebody is just scared, you're worried about it looking funny in those extremities, just try it. You're going to be fine. And just remember to rub that in. But like Melanie says, she's a professional. Once you get it figured out, it doesn't take you that long. You guys, you can do it. Absolutely. Right, Mel? If Mel can do it, we all can do it. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're good at all this stuff. You're good at all the girly stuff. Okay. So facial, facial masks, you guys know I'm mask crazy person. Okay. And so you should probably be too, because it feels really good on a Sunday to throw a mask on. These are the ones I've done it on stories a couple of times. Uh, but this one's the hyaluronic acid, which is definitely, um, for brightening and moisturizing, but you undo this, pull it out of this package. And then it looks like the scary little like Halloween mask that comes out of there. And you literally just set it over your face. Okay. Just open it up, peel it up, Put it on your clean face. You want your face to be clean and let it sit. This one is 15 to 20 minutes. I usually do 30. I do extra. It's supposed to take away more wrinkles. Probably not, but that's my theory. Okay, so um, so this one would be great for brightening and moisturizing. And again, these are a great little stocking stuffer. Great for a friend gift. Um, they're $5.99, you guys. Stick them in a birthday card, whatever you want to do. Um, so this is a good one. If you are uh, wanting anti-aging or you have like brown spots or you have some melasma or a little bit of redness, vitamin C is fantastic for you. Okay, so this is in a lot of um, beauty products and skincare and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so same thing again, it's just that scary little mask lady that comes undone. And you just set it on your face and it is supposed to help uh, to vitalize and re relieves um, redness again and all that kind of stuff. So it kind of helps even, even your skin tone out. You can't go wrong with either of these, you guys. I've used them all, I like them all, and yeah, you can't go wrong. So aloe vera is a good one if you're dry. Okay, so if you feel like your skin's a little bit drier, maybe you've been out in the sun quite a bit lately too, this would be a good one for you. Put a little bit of moisture back in. And they're all 15 to 20 minute set time. Uh, so just put it on, watch TV, relax on the couch, turn on some, I don't know, some meditation or something, relaxing. Uh, but either of these is great and a perfect little stocking stuffer if you're gift shopping, which it's time, you guys. I don't even want to think about it if I'm being honest with you. Oh my God, it gives me anxiety. There was um, Christmas music playing at market this last week and I was like, oh no, turn that off. I am not ready for that. <laughs> Okay, so again, today, you guys, I just went super easy uh, with my face. Uh, so I'll show you my foundation or my uh, moisturizer here in a second. But this is the gloss that I have on. It's called Gemini. And so this is what it looks like. It's kind of just a little bit of a bronzy. It has a little bit of a frost to it. But it is a great gloss if you're new to Cenogens and you just want a good little moisturizing gloss to put over anything or wear it plain and have a little bit. This would be a good one. It's just really pretty. And again, I have nothing else on. No liners, nothing, just lips, okay? Just natural lips, that's all I got. But it just, it's pretty, it's a little bit shiny, a little bit shimmery, and uh, it's just a really good feeling moisturizing lip gloss, okay? So that one's up for you. And it looks like this in the tube, it's a good one. All righty. <laughs> Mel, those can be tricky. They can be tricky. There's no joke. We should have an eyelash putting on party one of these nights and help you and see if we can try it. <laughs> yeah, poor girl. You still struggle with that. It is harder with glasses too. I do have to say it is harder when you can't see that good too. So that's not helping your, um, your problems. <laughs> okay. So, uh, tinted moisturizer, you guys, I know a lot of you have are down for Synergence orders. Uh, and I had to wait to put that in until the first. So Tuesday, that order is going in, uh, it's just kind of how Synergence works and their ordering system. So I have my big old list ready to stick stuff in. Kyla girl, how are you today? What you up to sister? Doing something fun with the kids outside today. It's so beautiful out. I know I have, I should have been outside, but I have not been. 
Um, well, yay, good. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. So I just did the moist tinted moisturizer that um, color correcting tinted moisturizer. It's such a mouthful, but I did medium today, which I feel like is a little too pale for me. I should, I found my medium deep, deep after I got situated. So, uh, this is the darker one and this is just medium. So whichever you prefer in color wise, most people are medium or are light option, but this is kind of like a step down from a foundation. So like casual daylight today, I just wanted to cover up a little bit of my freckles, a little bit of my redness. Uh, and so you can, this is perfect. It's not as heavy as a foundation, but it's just meant to kind of even your skin tone out, uh, and kind of just a, a drop down from a foundation coverage. Okay. So a lot of people use this on the daily instead of a heavy foundation. Uh, and it does have skincare in it as well. So if you guys need a color and yours is out, um, just let me know. Okay. Uh, because again, that order will go in on Tuesday. All right. But it feels nice and light. It's super, super soft. So many of you have been on the bandwagon of our Synergence foundations lately. So I am so, so glad. Oh, good, Stacy. I'm glad you love it too. It is. It's really pretty. Like it's pretty plain, but it's really pretty over all of our colors. Or you can even stick it over an A-list color if you want to. So yay, Stacy. I'm glad you love it. I know it is a really pretty one. You could, it's a good neutral. Um, Cleaning house, Kyla, that's what I was cleaning my bathroom in between running children. And let me tell you, yes, it is a struggle bus, isn't it? But it feels so good when it's done. I try to do it like, I really do try to go through my house and do it at least once a year, de-stash and declutter. Because if you do that once a year, stuff doesn't accumulate, right? And then it's not so bad, but man, it's still not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. I start getting weird about it. Like, I swear I'm like nesting when our seasons change like this and it gets to be winter. I'm like, I need to declutter my house. It's weird. I don't get it. Um, yes. Okay. Lisa, I, when I was at the store a little bit ago, I saw that note and Mel let me know. So I will add that to my, um, yes. Perfect. To my list. How I have going in. It's a long one. So, uh, yeah, I didn't realize that I couldn't do it till the first. So I was like, dang it. These people need their stuff, but it's all right. It usually comes within a week. So it won't be long. Okay, Miss Lisa, perfect, I got you. You're gonna like it. Everybody is loving our foundation. It's fantastic. So, happy to hear that. Okay, so then I just threw over a powder over my foundation, okay? So, or my um, tin and moisturizer. So I have that up for you. All of our loose powders are in that little container and that's just what I set my foundation or our tin and moisturizer with. It's just something I've always done and I get oily. So I have to put a little bit of powder on um, just to make sure it kind of sets it and kind of dries up that oil that I've got. Um, hey, Kyla, that's what I do too. I have a girlfriend that always is in need of stuff. So I give stuff to her um, and yeah, and then donate it because I'm telling you, like I used to do the garage sale thing and Lee told me, can I pay you to not do one? So that's where I'm at with garage sales. <laughs> we don't do them around here. Uh, Marge, I am home. I am home. We got late late Friday night uh, and our it was the weirdest. Coming into town, we were gonna do our little um, interview questions that you guys put up on Instagram. My Instagram would not work. Like I would record us and I would like, and it would freeze and then it would delete our videos. And I was so pissed after an hour of trying, I was like, forget it. That's it, we're, we're done. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, but uh, we got home late Friday and yes, it was good. I was glad to be home for the kiddos and, um, but it was a good week. It was a good week. We found lots of good stuff. Um, I would say finding things is way harder than it used to be. I'm going to tell you that uh, to find the good stuff, but I did good. I did. I find some really good stuff for us. So perfect. And Marge, I will touch base with you on your Synergence order too. I have it down, but um, I want to go over it with it before Tuesday. So I'll be in contact with you tomorrow, honey buns. Okay. And you leave for Arizona, I think here coming up too. So hopefully I'll see you before then, hopefully. Okay. Let's do, um, so we had some corksicle in the house that, uh, you guys might need for gifts again, birthdays or kiddo gifts. Uh, cause you can stick, uh, energy drinks in here too. It doesn't have to be booze. Okay guys. Uh, but this is the slim can style. All right. This is corksicle. These I'm showing you are corksicle. Uh, corksicle is three layers instead of two, like swig, brewmates, all those are just a two layer. Uh, and these are three. So they keep your stuff colder. Okay. That's why they're a little bit higher price than the other two, but I think their patterns are way better. So, and they make it colder for longer. So that's a win to me. So here we have the camo in pink. Just thought it was fun for all those camo lovers out there, but you want like a girly camo. Thought that was a good one. All right. And then, um, 
This next one, this is a great gift for your guys, okay? I gave one of these to my dad. My dad loves coffee and he has to have it scalding hot, okay? So they have to have things that keep things warm. But this is so, so great. So they call it a commuter cup. Uh, and so how it is, you just push it down and your coffee will come right out of the side, your cocktail, what have you. My favorite part about this, I don't use it for coffee. I use it for cocktails, okay? So you put it, your cocktail in here and it is a shaker as well. Nothing leaks out of here, you guys. Nothing. I've tried it a million times, okay? Uh, and it then you can just shake up. If you had like a martini or something that you want it mixed, you just give it a shake and you're good to go, okay? So this is a good little wood grain, perfect for guy little gift as well. Uh, and this is my favorite style they have. It was new and I tried it and I have a couple in my cupboard. I love it. It works so slick. Okay, and then this one is fun. This is another slim can style with the fun little leopard. And it's matte, which you guys know is my jam. Uh, but it's just a fun little black and kind of a charcoal gray look. Uh, and has a nice little handles, the little groove, so you can just hold right onto it. And this is, again, the slim can size. Okay, it's a good little gift idea for sure. And then this one is fun. This is zebra. Is this not fantastic? But again, that matte look, which is just different from any other brands and has that nice little groove. But again, if you're using it for a slim can, all you do is just slip it in. You don't even have to unscrew anything. Okay, just slips right in there. Okay, perfect. Then if you dig the zebra, this is, I think there's just one left of these. Yes, one. Atlee has one of these in our cabinet. This is great for those kids when they're headed to sport activities, keep stuff cold or hot, or you could fill it with hot chocolate. If you're headed out to the pumpkin patch, something like that would be great. Uh, it has a non-spill lid. So this just pops open like so. And so you could stick a straw in there if you wanted to, or just um, you could sip right out of that. Pour it out however you want to do it. But it's kind of nice. It's got the little holder here and good little size. So this one is 20 ounces. Holds 20 ounces on that one. All right. Perfect. And then, okay, another commuter option. This one is, again, a good little guy option. So it is a matte kind of a gray. Okay, kind of a charcoal gray. And so, again, that's the one with the top. You just push down. And that's how you drink out of it. Or you mix. You guys, I'm so stoked. We have the... Funnest. Mel, did you see those? Those um, new cocktail mixers. I am so excited about them. You have no idea because they're zero sugar little mixers uh, and you can, you let them marinate kind of. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. You guys, I think um, they just came. So I'm sure Mel will get those entered and maybe I can do those this week yet for you. So, because they're like, I need it yesterday <laughs> type of thing. Okay. Uh, where was I at here? Okay. The next up I think is this guy. Uh, and so this is that fun little leopard print as well, but in the commuter cup style. So again, if you have a million cups like this in your closet, uh, this is a new style that you might not have and it's great. Okay. So yeah, Mel, I will send you a video so you kind of get those um, and how they work, but the containers that came, so they just, you pour the stuff in there and it marinates. You pour your alcohol in and it marinates in there. I don't know why I'm talking. I'm talking to Mel on my computer. I don't know why. Sorry, Mel. <laughs> um, but anyway, it sits in there and it marinates. And so you can like, you can save it for a month later, or you can just take it as you go. I'm so excited about it. That gets Amanda excited. Good cocktails. Okay, then this little guy is kind of the psychedelic, um, kind of fun one. So again, we have this in my cupboard. Uh, it's just a good one for the kiddos can grab. It's not necessarily gender specific. It's just white and kind of the holographic look. So perfect. Um, Miss Margie, Jordy might like one of these for Christmas. So you could get her this one for her sports stuff, or she might even like something like this just to mix up her, um, like a sport energy drink or something. I don't know. Good little whisk idea. Then you guys, we didn't have pictures for these. I'm going to mention them. Um, I will throw them up. We got to get a picture of that too, but our little whiskey wedges. Um, uh, I have my to-do list here. I will pop on with those because those you have to see and I have one here at home and I need to freeze it so you guys could see. But if you have somebody who loves old fashions to drink bourbon, uh, scotch, whiskey, any of that stuff over ice, you've got to get these whiskey edge um, little cups. Okay. So they are up. Oops. They're up right now. Uh, but th we flew out of them when we got them the first time. They're just the best man gift that you're ever going to find. And I've never seen them anywhere else. Okay. So there is those that we just restocked. So that's up. Uh, and then there is one 
I think, no, okay, I did restock those. I couldn't remember. There's one that's a glass, same thing for on the rocks type beverages, but has a cigar holder. Okay, so if you're somebody who, uh, or your man, another great gift idea, uh, somebody who loves cigars, it just sits on the back of that little glass. Okay, so it's pretty clever. And uh, yes, we will get those up for you guys because those did not have pictures. So we'll get that up and post it. All right. Um, okay. Is that all I got? I think that's all I got. Yes, that's all I got. Okay, hot dog. All right, you guys. So let's see. I think Axe is headed to, um, I was supposed to go and I'd love to go, but I better stay my buns home and keep working. Um, but to a haunted house in Aurora tonight. Have you guys heard of this one? I don't even know what it's called, but um, a girlfriend is picking him up with a bunch of kiddos. So he'll have fun tonight. And it's a beautiful night to do some of that stuff. So I should just pack up and go with him. I don't know. I don't know what I'll decide to do. But okay, you guys, I think that's all I got for today. So stay tuned again, you guys, if you missed the first part of this, um, our Instagram account for A-List has disappeared. So um, we're gonna be probably making a new one, um, which is heartbreaking to me, you have no idea. Um, so stay tuned for the name and all that, but for now, catch us on Facebook, okay, uh, is the best place to find us, and of course the app. But uh, definitely be following Facebook for now to get um, to keep up with us, okay? Tomorrow night, we won't have a live at eight just because it's Halloween, and a lot of you are either chasing children or answering a dinging doorbell. Um, so we'll just let you do that tomorrow night. Tuesday, you can catch us at six o'clock for um, some daily deals, markdowns, style steals, all kinds of good stuff. Tuesday at six, okay? All right, you guys, I think that's it. Everybody have a great evening. Um, we'll catch you all later. Thanks for hanging out with me for our little Sunday catch up. And uh, you guys have a great evening. Can't wait to see you this week.